To Love or Not to Love, Episode 7, The Conclusion. In the show of To Love or Not to Love, the financial analyst department of People's Financial started off as an all-male team. In the beginning, Jennifer discusses the four functions of management that most companies follow, along with the skills it takes to even become a manager. Everything was fine for the all-male department until Rachel, a beautiful female, joined the group and completely changed everything. At first, John keeps his professional manager role very seriously with Rachel as he discusses ethics and goes over her first project with her. However, that changed when John got to know her better while working with her on the project and invited her to dinner. In this show, John puts Rachel and himself into an unethical relationship which makes it turn for the worse. The show goes over the importance of using the classical decision-making model when it comes to making decisions on serious topics. These episodes prove the importance of a company's code of ethics and adding necessary policies to prevent unethical behavior. The show goes over the importance of using the classical decision-making model when it comes to making decisions on serious topics. These episodes prove the importance of a company's code of ethics and adding necessary policies to prevent unethical behavior. When John confesses his relationship with Rachel to James, it puts James into a sticky situation. This episode shows James letting his friendship with John worry him about making a moral or right decision. However, after talking to his wife Sarah, he does the right thing and becomes the whistleblower. These episodes show the importance of the Human Resources Department following through on their policies and procedures when dealing with unethical dilemmas. These episodes also show the importance of rewarding employees for doing great things. As the last episode ends, see, bad situations can still end in happily ever afters as long as you make the right ethical decision. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching! watching.